So I found the trees <laughs> in the tree painter. For some reason, I have never actually looked in that section, but hopefully they grow in and make this look somewhat decent instead of me complaining about it all the time. Finishing up around here, just a few little details. If you notice over here, this is now empty. I don't know how long I spent last episode stressing about this, where the Watt kitchens were, but I think I figured out a solution that probably should have been my solution all along. <laughs> but uh, sometimes it takes me a minute, but eventually I figure it out. Let's put some tree just until I get over here and start building. We'll put, we'll fill this whole area in with trees because I just think it looks a little less, less barren and eventually Jeez, those should grow is... into something. I'll get to you in a minute, Mr. Scholar Man, because uh, you're busy doing something else for me. Uh, the, so the, the current plan is different from the former plan because... I've moved the Watt Kitchens over here into the big open area that I was stressing about before. And I think it makes this whole area just finally look like it should. I got all of the Tef Mills down here. The kitchen's here. I have items that are going to make these a little bit more efficient. So we might not need all of this right now. Actually, I don't know if the airship's here or not. Is it here? It is here. Are clear. There we go. So we already have our food production. I believe this oven is the best food production item that there is. The, we have the upgraded version of this thing, the burr stone. It's 35% and 25%. Well, now we have a 40 and 50%. And then... Then... I guess we'll bring Ferris over here <laughs> on his... I don't think Ferris is anywhere else. This is his maiden his maiden voyage to Mbesa, I believe. He's finally made it over here. He's in every other region. And as always, people, be people before machines. There we go. All right, so this, I think, looks much better, and I think it makes much more sense. Uh, as far as the expansion of the linen mills for in the future because I believe I'm making like a ridiculous amount here it's like 12 extra 41 to 26 is that right <laughs> yeah when they're all running I'm making a lot bottom line is I'm making a lot and when I need more I can just because these are such small buildings compared to these monstrosities all I have to do is literally copy that and bring it over here and put it underneath this trade union and it fits perfectly and everything is fine and it'll work splendid. And actually that would look good right next to the other rectangular work area. This one might look pretty good. So that's the future plan for this area whenever that happens. You know what? These trees look much better than what I tried to do over here. I made... I may just fill that in with these. <laughs> that This looks really fake, and this looks much more natural. Maybe I'll do that here. Let's, <laughs> let's change everything. Why not? I think I hit the wrong button to, <laughs> to delete those. There we go. Got to hit shift. Right, everything out of there? Okay, good. Let's use this thing. This What are these called? Yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. That kind of tree? Let's use the painter instead. That looks much better. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing before. Yeah, hopefully those grow in. We'll put... They need to be in this area here to make this look okay. There, make them thick. There you go. Yeah, I'll let those grow and see what they look like. Okay. Um, so that was the Watt Kitchens, I believe. Yeah, there was the other thing I wanted to do. 
but I'm not going to do it yet because I'm still developing them. Are all of these paper mill items? And when they're all developed, or when some of them or most of them are developed, we're going back up here to Belize E. And we are going to change all of these from clay oh, to paper. I expect you there. That one's going to stay water. This one already is paper, and this one is clay. So we're going to change this one and this one to clay. Or, I'm sorry, from clay to paper. And then we're going to open up our paper needs for old world people. But that that's uh, after those items get done. So before before that happens, we are going to, I believe, this is Caduce Antoni. And we need to get back into this. I totally skipped it last episode, and we need to get back into it. What is? Office what are we stations. doing here? Oh, this is my. Uh, <laughs> this is my ship. They've been just sitting here hanging out, drinking hibiscus tea for a couple days. All right, where were we? What is going on? We are the life of a research assistant with access to the library secured. The scholar suggests seeking out all available research material concerning the founding of Mbesa, sometimes referred to as the Golden Age. There should be books and. Okay, yeah, read some books. Got it. So let's see if we can figure this stuff out. Read the books describing the golden age and the founding of Mbesa. All right. There's an inscription above made in the islands of servants. Oh, okay. Here we go. Turn, go back here where I can see. So we have a day in the life of a priest. The foundation of Mbesa. That's probably that one. Litany of the blessed dead. Treatise of hearsay on golden age. Golden age. Golden Age, founding of Basia. a magnet for genius. All right, so which one do we do first? Golden Age and. So let's do Golden Age first. What are we doing? Who? Okay, thanks. Welcome. Welcome to Devil Ray. Uh, Golden Age. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh, boy. Uh, hearsay is, is that which the powerful would not see survive in their dominion. In the Golden Age, Syria... I guess, burnt down the whole of him. Whoa. The Mimbesa, his very country, in a rage of madness. He branded the Caduce outlaws and heretics and tortured anyone who would not renounce the true faith. Many died. But the true meaning of hearsay is a lie to the soul, and, a, and any physical representation of divinity can only be a lie as divinity transcends what the servants can see. Thus, idolatry, I'd, I can't say that word, idolatry is hearsay. Wow. Okay. That got deep real fast. I'm over here talking about Watt Kitchens and Linen Mills, and now we're talking about divinity and all this other stuff. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're jumping in. So Syria came and burnt down everything because he didn't. He wasn't a believer, and I, I, I can't sit. I think it's... I'm not even going to try anymore. <laughs> he didn't believe. Hearsay. I believe that's what that means, as far as the story. Um, and the founding of Mbesa. And as they rode the waves, seeking the promised land, the queen bid the gods calm the raging storm. And so the gods did comply, and the waves rose higher than mountains on either side of the ship, yet the waters before us were becalmed and clear and lay ahead the golden plain of Mbesa. It's like an oasis in the storm. So the queen did lead her people through the sea where Leviathans roam and build a mighty city there. And in that city, she raised a temple to her lost husband, Selawami, or Selamawi, and those who stayed with him in that place beyond the confines of the world. All right. So there's a lot of believing in here, and there's not a lot of believing in the Golden These Age thing. We have. Hardly enough for a full chapter. Yeah, that, that really wasn't much. Bella Scholar of the Golden Age. There is much we could discuss. Well, let's let's go. Let's do it. Things that should not have been forgotten. Okay. Let's discuss the Golden Age. Despite the abundant learning story stored in Caduce Antonio's library, there are precious few... Tom's even mentioning the so-called Golden Age. After some fruitless research, the high priestess 
and notices your frustration, inquires as to its reason. Her face lights with a rare smile. She learns the object you research, so she's all happy to talk about it. She's been waiting on somebody to come talk to her about it. Well, I'm here. But we need to go to find a more temperate place. Ooh. We're talking about... She gonna tell me some secrets? The Golden Age ended in the cruelty and bloodshed of Syria. That much is well known, but its foundations are unclear. Few sources have survived the ravages of time, even in this place of learning. There are barely even any mentions of the early years in base outside the book. Blah, 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 blah. In base's first day could be the day the Queen Shaba landed on its shores. Legends and fables of Queen Shaba's journey from... Okay, what did I figure out? What did I learn is basically what she's asking me. I learned that... Ooh, she's making me pick a side here. I'm delighted to introduce our <laughs> new colleague. Can you help me out with this question instead of tell? I need you to give me the answer. <laughs> I need a little cheat sheet. Um, well, they officially named it like when when the queen got there and the oasis and all the gimmicks, and then hmm. But then again, these all are just legends and fables. So I'm gonna go with legends and fables because that's what we're doing here. Myth or history? Did the scribe who carved these careful lines know of the sources? No of sources lost to us today, or were they lending too much credence to popular belief and legend? We shall never know. Such as the peril of learning, our conclusions are transient themselves, as are whatever choices we make. We must lend caution to our thoughts. Okay. Now she's just blabbing on. Uh, accounts are precious, but fallible. Only evidence traces from the very time you wish to study might yield information on the fabled golden age and the cradling times of Mbesa. But where would you look for such traces? Um, I would look on your island. Maybe. Um, the Emperor City was built on the ruins of the first capital. Yeah, that's a good place to start, probably. Perhaps in the ruins of the old library on this very island. That would be convenient because we're here. And Wahadesher, perhaps there. Um, traces from the very the time you wish to study might yield leadership. information on the fabled golden age and the cradling times. Well, the Emperor City is what we were talking about. We're talking about uh, Tabarim, right? I'm gonna go. I'm. I'm saying there. Yeah, we're going that. But most of the other ruins under Tabarim are young, wrought in recent centuries. History was not kind of the capital. Thrice it was raised, but th and thrice built anew. So that much of its older bones are long forgotten. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. Nowhere other than here, of course. She's all about Caduceus. I should have known. She's all about putting herself over here. Nowhere other than Caduce Antonio will you find land untouched by greedy or violent hands for countless centuries. I don't know if that's true. Your whole... Um, you got that whole buried whatever it is underground if evidence of serious time is to be found it is it will be in this ground on which we stand where the mad king's inquisitors burned the old library two millennia ago well burning the old library two millennia is sounds to me like it was it actually was touched by greedy or violent hands history becomes legend Legend Search the remains of the lost library. The myth is half forgotten. But why not dig up the old library? History becomes legend, legend, myth, and myth. Okay. Quite right. Archaeology Ooh, okay. is the queen yes. of all disciplines. Go dig dust. Go dig dust. dust. The evidence should be enough to complete this first fragmentary chapter. Okay, dig dust. Got it. Douse. Yes. We so are accustomed to such undertakings. Gather a crew and supplies. Oh boy. And we will support you. Wait. So now you you're all about putting Caduce and Tony over, but now you're telling me that I need to go find other workers to come Where help you do your job. Sweet words of the priests of Caduce. They are cunnier than they seem, and would see their fate vindicated rather than bow. I'm starting to see that. Recruit a group the of workers, sail to leadership. any lighthouse. I say we sail to Katima's lighthouse and get some of his people because Katima's my boy. So we're going there. 
Maybe. Shouldn't there be an arrow? Oh, I got to put the little indicators on. <laughs> I turned the indicators off. Okay, there. Uh, let's go here and get a... Let's go get some Katima workers. We're going to get some goodwill going with Katima. We're going to use his people. So you decided, with her blessing, to attempt the excavation of the old library in the hopes of finding relics. The Cyclopean Endeavor will require extensive resources, especially in terms of workers, since it's forbidden for the priest... Oh, <laughs> maybe that's the reason. Sorry, my bad. I was talking trash. <laughs> it's forbidden for you to do manual labor. Well, that's a cool life to live. Hey, you need to help help her out. Y'all need to get along. You need to work together. Ooh. The people of Tabarin are wayward, having forgotten the ways of old. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, aren't you supposed to give me... I'm here. I'm here. Give me people. Was I not listening? I think I was just not listening to what happened right there. I'm here. Oh no. Only I'm reporting in. Um all right, so I'll go over here. <laughs> Waha Desher it is. I, I wasn't listening. <laughs> I just saw they were talking. I really wasn't listening. Resources are thin. All right, cool. Any See, these people are nice. Would be appreciated. Oh boy. We cannot accommodate so many. We shall need temporary quarters for these workers. Man, these people are all selfish about their 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 resources. Y'all need to work together. Hi. I swear, they are so stingy. How about a cup of coffee? You've been playing for two hours. Yeah, that's what Watt Kitchens and Tef Mills will do for you. Two hours of building. All right. We, okay, so now we, apparently we have a choice here. The house, well, I mean. Can't y'all have make your own food? I mean, we gave you all this stuff. Now you want me to bring you some food. I, I, I need to get to work, and the work involves timber and mud bricks. We don't have time to go over here and feed you and do all this other stuff. So we're going to get to work. That's what we're doing. Uh, one, two, three, four, one. 40 and 10. All right. What do they actually say? Preparation being made to begin the evacuation. Um, you've turned to Wahadesher. The chieftain is eager to help, but wants you to give him some food. He has little preference as to what food is supplied, as long as it's native. Yeah, well, it looks to me like there is an absolute preference, sir. <laughs> That's a lie. So now I know you're fibbing, so I'm definitely going here. A long, tedious labor, one that will require days, hard work, strenuous, blah, blah, blah. Camp will be built. Yes, we need to get to work. We're going to build a camp with some wood and some mud bricks. All right, let's go over here. Begin the turn. Yes, final note. Let's do it. A small contribution to the Lord's plans. Okay. The Lord is not... Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's just... Here we go. Anything... Now what? Don't I have to, like... Thought we are building the camp. Oh, boy. Do I have to do this too? Do I have to do both of them? Hold the crane. I think I might have to do both of them. Dang it. <laughs> I was hoping I didn't have to do that. All right, well, I guess we'll do both. What a tedious, what a tedious. 
quest. <laughs> I mean, what a, like, a, I, it's, it's too much. I guess we'll do these 10, give them over here, and then maybe they'll start work over here. Maybe. All right, 10 of these go in here. Room to maneuver. I hope. I hope this. I hope I'm not doing the wrong thing here. I hope. I'm so nervous. I'm afraid. Like I'm gonna. I'm on camera. I'm gonna screw this whole thing up. I mean, that'll probably be more entertaining. But I. I. I want to do this correctly. It, this would certainly help us survive. Yes. If you could allow it. Yes, we can allow an it. Okay. Oath given is an oath due. Our workers have boarded your ship. May your search prove fruitful. Uh, okay. The ingenious device is complete. Bring her around. Can you come back over here to Caduce and help me, buddy? <laughs> You're. I need you to leave Devil Ray and come to Caduce and help me do this the correct way. All right. So now we're coming over here with workers. An eager bunch, save for the one who gazes wistfully at Wahadesher's fading mountains. Well, why didn't you just leave him at home? Why are we bringing him over here if he's going to be a problem? Back already? Well, I mean. You kind of made me. All right, um, let's do it. The excavators appear ill-fed. That will have to do for the task at hand. Okay. You could have just asked for more food. I would have brought it with me. Can commence. Lord, look favorably upon us. Okay. Down to the deep. Wait until the workers have discovered something in the ruins. Fifteen minutes. Okay. Well, let's look here. Uh, encourage you to uncover the ruins. Plenty of workers and a camp installed. It's only a matter of time before you find your first artifacts. Okay. So I guess we just wait now. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I'm just, I'm waiting to see. Okay, so the very next thing was just a notification. So I guess we do just wait. All right, so I guess I need to go to get some of these items over here for this paper. And let's just start doing this now. Uh, my airship is not here, though. <laughs> my airship is right here. Ready to fly. Oh, happiness. Happiness went from a propaganda plane to the most valuable transport ship in my fleet. All right, go get me some more, some more items. How many do we have left? All right, I did the first three, so because this is round two. One of them, one of them, and one of them, and then there's round three after that. So we got enough to do one of them. So let's go ahead and get up here and start working. Oh, see what we need to do. Currently, the workforce, I think, is going to end up being a problem. People celebrate your leadership. Now, here's one thing. Here's... The thing to consider. I could move the population down here. Turn this into water. Have the population... That'd be pretty cool, actually, just to have them all right here on this little island part. Have Wanza Timber all up in here. This can just can be water, this and then all three of these can be paper. As opposed to having a water pump just doing this. Would that make more sense? Or would it make more sense to keep one of these water... For the fire indicate... fire pro... well, no. Hmm. Fire doesn't happen very often, but I don't want to. I don't want to lose like an entire city to one little tiny fire. Maybe I will move them down here. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. You you said we could. Uh oh, to you, right? what's going on? We're back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um. 
melancholy worker. Let's see how you can assist him. Progress is slow, but stay in the evacuation of one of the workers from Wahadesher is, however, providing or sorry, proving more affected by the long absence from his homeland. And his fear, I swear, these people think they're so far away. He's like right next to it's the next island over. His melancholy will undermine his steadfastness. He humbly asks you to provide a picture of the czar on his home island. A vast compound. Excuse me. A vast compound of earthen houses stretching around the water. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so we've already done that. So should we help this guy out or just tell him to deal with it? <laughs> I mean... Literally, it's right there. <laughs> They're like his long lost homeland. It's 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 right here. He could he could swim if he really missed it that much. He could just jump right here and swim across and be there in ten minutes. It's not that big of a deal, buddy. So do we help him out? What do we do? What do we think? I don't know. <laughs> Part of me wants to just say, "Screw you, buddy. Deal with it." But I don't know, is that going to set us off the path here? Or do we just keep going with this? I don't know where this leads. Does this lead me somewhere else? I don't know. <laughs> I think we just say, screw it. <laughs> Leave, let the guy miss his homeland. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Yes, perfect timing. Yep, screw you, buddy. <laughs> What'll it be? We got work to do. All right, that thing, and then paper mill. That Show thing, blow lamp on this, would you? and there's a guy somewhere. I think he was in blue. Where is he? Is he purple? Oh, there he is right there. He's in purple. There he is. Instead of wood, the building process is wands of timber. Alright, so we don't have to ship wood out there anymore. That'll help. Alright, so let's just get this back here so we can start the process and then we'll lay it out and see what it looks like. What? I, I wasn't listening to a word you said, buddy. Not one word. Alright, yeah, screw this guy. We're gonna go up here and work. <laughs> I do need to check the trade routes, though. Paper. Paper. Yeah, so this doesn't even have... This does not have to bring wood here anymore. This is a wasted route. This can now... Honestly, this... Alright, so the paper and clay are going... Yeah, okay. So here's what we're going to do. This route stays the same. Scar is going to continue bringing paper and clay. Why is it bringing clay from here? Oh, for the um pipes. But I'm not going to be making clay up here anymore. So this can actually change. All right, Scar, you get to pause. This is just going to be paper now. Yeah, clay is no longer going to be built, made up here. So this is just paper, and actually, 100? I don't know if that's even... Doesn't even make sense, but we'll just keep doing it. Let's find you. You are right there. We assist however we may. Dump that. Continue about your way. Okay. Now, as for this one, this ship can come off of this. I wonder where you are. Are you in Tropicana right now? No, I just left Tropicana because it wasn't full. I don't I don't believe it was full a second ago. This can now change from completely. We need to delete this route. This route is done. It doesn't need to go to the new world. You're done. Delete route. Done. And we need to create a route going from Inbesa. 
There we go. You are going for Wakanda, and then you're going to go to Chubb, because that's closer, I believe. Yeah, because you got to go here so that the people up on Crown Falls voyage. can get paper. And then from here, we'll send a ship over to the Old World to give them paper as well. There we go. Connor the Chub, perfect. Paper. This is going to be in Besa to Cape. We need to find... Um, let's see, which one? Rangoon, you're in. Welcome to your new job. You're the paper route. And then we'll set up another one going from Ingenious device is paper. From Cape to Old World. You're going from Chubb to Old World to Chubb. All right, same thing. Boom. And then we will take... We have two more to make. We have to do an old world route. It's going to go from here to here to here. Delivering paper. Since that's such a long route, we will... No, no, no. We'll make that a clipper. There we go. Paper. Oops. We'll put a clipper on that. That's in the old world. Boom. And then we'll put one in the cape. A fire broke out. Here to here. And it's also going to be a clipper. So I'm going to let the first route run. First couple routes run for a while. Get some of the stock built up. Before we assign the clippers to take it from the hub islands to the where they need to go. So let these fill in. Let these two fill up for a while before we even worry about it. Because it's going to be a while. Before they fill up. Now, let's make sure we have a minimum set here. Yes, we do. Because we, we are still making illuminated scripts here. Yes, that's going to work. All right. We are here with our guy and our items. One, two, three. Boom. Let's go up here to this paper mill. Currently, we're making what? The fire has been vanquished. All islands we are making. I think it's like four tons a minute. Yes. Trade union here. People. He's producing wands of timber now instead of wood. And then machine and machine. Great. <laughs> I'll check that in a minute. I'm doing something. All right. So we were making four and now we're making nine. Wow. That was a lot. This might be all the paper we ever need. Just this island by itself. Because nine times three, that's going to be 27 that we're going to be making. That's going to be awesome. I like it. That. All right, so this is now making wands of timber. Now, what do we? how much wands of timber do we need here? We need nine, so that's a lot. So this is where the workforce is going to come here, is on these wands of timbers. So let's just... The thing I love about these is they are just the most, the simplest... This might be the most simple production building in the game, <laughs> is the Wands of Timber. There we go, get some of that built up. You go back to Devil Ray, and I will wait for more people, more items. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to load this up with Wands of Timber, uh, woodcutters, and... Uh,
do one, two, three, and then turn these two. Like these need to be. I think that needs to be water, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna move the pot. Yeah, okay. So when this is done, we'll see what kind of timers or anything else there is. See where this takes us. I don't know where this is gonna take us. If there's like another long timer, we'll come over here and work on this during the timer again. Yeah, so this can be a paper mill. Oh, I don't want to do that until I move the people. This can be a paper mill. All right, you're done. Paper, here we go. And then when I move the other ones, yeah, that'll be good. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over here and Caduce Antonio. That's not. That's the wrong place. There we go. Let's see what's going on here. We got... Oh, look at him. Look at him down there working. Can I get down here, I wonder? You can. I didn't know you could do this on Caduce. Let's go up the... Get up the hill. I want to get up the hill and get a good view. Oh, I can't go like that's a work site, so I can't go over there. I wish I would have known this before. I would have done this before. Look at the guys out there hard at work getting things done. The I wish I would have strike a hard Oops. surface. Fragments of Ooh. lost history. <laughs> and we have a hole. Just like that. Alright, cool. Eyes that gaze westwards. Okay. A new discovery has been made in the excavation. At the excavation. Workers are struck We're upon something hard. A yes. <laughs> a giant building. Not daring to push harder. Um, blah, 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 blah. They asked the priestess to plead for your help to in delicately extracting from their... Okay. I'm not good at being delicate. I'll tell you that much. Let's see. What we got in here? We got... Well, the Epic of Invesa. We have an ancient pillar. We have a carved headstone. Let's go down here. Can we see them? I saw somewhere was a something else. There it is. A sealed vase. Okay. Um, well, let's look at the pillar. An ancient pillar seemingly holding the library before Siri burned it down. The vase is adorned with the image of a solar a king, radiating flame through the rest of Mbesa, something, something, something. It shall remain exposed while the search continues. Well, they can't just, well, yeah, they, they're not going to rebury it. Okay. The ancient and elaborately inscribed Your headstone is still partially decipherable. It is, an it is an inventory of ships and of trade to and from the island, evidently thousands of years old. Okay. We have an epic of Invesa. One of the walls of the old library's roof. Long destroyed. Extensive carvings. History. Queen Shaba's dominion. A peaceful meeting of... Uh, that, that probably seemed important. <laughs> a peaceful meeting of something. Can I read it again? You can't put 3,500 words on something and expect me not to read it again. Come on. All right, fine. Sealed vase. Kept safe from the flames. The ancient tapestry is still quite beautiful, despite its fading colors. It portrays the invasion of Caduce and the theft of strange plants. Perhaps legendary something. Yep. Mm-hmm. Great. Select the headstone to analyze it. Didn't I already do that? Oh, it's over here. Wait, wasn't it right here? Oh, they picked everything up and moved it. Can I go down there? I can't. Nope, I can't. <laughs> oh, I see. They moved everything. That's why I couldn't. I wish I could jump down there. Can you go in the library? <laughs> now I'm distracted. I want to go in the library. Can I go in here? I can get close. Is this the priestess? What's up, priestess? Oh my gosh, what is that animal? What is this murder monster that you have? That's not a cat. It's it's not a, well it is it's kind of it is a cat. What kind of cat is that? It's like a bobcat. I'm out of here. <laughs> I ain't messing with her no more. 
All right, one last try to get down here. Point the cursor right down in the middle. Nope, okay. All right, I'll stop, I promise. Here we are. So, observe it. Okay, let's, uh, let's do that, I guess. Oh boy, an ancient registry of the ships and their inventory of Harbor Kudosi. <laughs> <laughs> Arrival, departure, ships, goods, one fragment, blah, 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 blah. Caduce and Tony does not produce goods according to the precepts. Proof of the historic, blah, 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 much of the high purchases. Oh, of course, they're going to give me like an hour to read this one. Seems compared to the much better state of... Okay, um, yeah. They give me an hour to read this one. Oh, yeah. That's why you think you're so smart. The excavation can resume. But do inspect the statue. It may inspire you to write your chronicles. Okay, do inspect the I'm statue. I'm delighted to introduce our okay. new colleague. Go away for a second. Inspect the statue. Okay, where's the statue? Is there a statue? I suspected there was more to this project than they Oh boy. <laughs> I sense underhanded ambitions to support their independence. <laughs> okay. All right, so she wants me to look at a statue? Is there a statue that I'm missing? That's a pool. That's a column. That's a temple. There's people. A skinner and everyone. Well, let's go talk to those shortage. people. Investigate the headstone before they reach the bottom. Well, yeah, that's I've already read that. I wanna what are these people doing? Should I talk to them? Wait, these are are these the people that I'm looking for? Someone may help you. Is these these people I just happen to run across? <laughs> well, I'd rather talk to people than read the headstone again. So let's talk to the people. Uh, wait, what are these? Let's, let's, let's read this first. Pre presses you to continue searching through the ruins until the bottommost levels of the old library are uncovered. That being said, it could be wise to investigate the headstone she finds so promising before you reach it. Okay. And then he says, the strange case of the errant monolith. Workers of the excavation site have la at last uncovered the upper levels... To much excitement to the priests. It seems among the artifacts found, there were some that contained evidence of their claims of being the wardens of Mbase's original ancestral faith. Katima is, however, extremely suspicious of such a serendipitously beneficial find and asks you to investigate the event. Interesting. So he's skeptical. Well, as, as we have learned many times so far, I am a Katima fan, and I am also skeptical, sir, because this lady got really excited. So I'm going to try to find these people, and I think that that would be these people. Ceasefire has ended. I feel our path of founders laid for us, the tracks we still walk. Okay, that doesn't help me. It's hopeless. The age of giants is long gone, as is the knowledge we had of yore. Okay. We are ants, Eskinder, but as small as we are, we are blessed with the seeing, with seeing the distant horizon and the Lord's open hands awaiting. Okay, I feel like I, I shouldn't be listening to. I feel like we should not be listening to this conversation. This seems very personal. All right, can I click them again? It's the same conversation. <laughs> okay, find someone. All right, let's find someone. Not the headstone. What about this guy? As soon as the headstone was up, the oh, priest here we go. finally let us rest. Oh, we got he's a whistleblower. Evil brought us tea and honey. When we returned, it was buried in earth again. They told us it had always been that way, and the heat had made us delirious. Oh, that sounds shady. That sounds shady. The worker noted that the stone has clearly has clearly previously been clearly previously been taken out of the ground find someone someone possibly a priest altered it there must uh oh this is getting shady i like it 
There must be some clues at the site near the headstone. So near the headstone. Oh. I mean, <laughs> this is not a good hiding spot if you're going to leave your stuff hanging around. I mean, it's right <laughs> three feet away. Just set them to the side and didn't think nobody was going to see them. The bag of tools used to carve stone marked as the property of Layla, the priestess overseeing. Layla, you are a shady, shady lady. The bag of tools belongs to Priestess Layla. Priests live on the eastern side of the island. Find evidence at the culprit's house. Oh, now we're going to her house? Ooh, I like this. <laughs> this is like... Uh, what, what is it called? Uh, like a like a private investigator. All right, so she lives way over here. See? That's why she's shady, see? She's as far away from everything as you can get up here where nobody can see nothing. Nobody can see anything. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's go to her house. That is this one, correct? Yes. The table. The skillful one. Okay. Find evidence. Well, here's her house. Table. Upon the table sits a letter addressed to Layla. Oh, oh, oh here we go. This city is a magnet for genius. Go away. I'm totally into this now. Layla. Lies and truth are not absolute. They are defined by the context within which they are uttered. Ooh. Only the gods can utter truth. We are bound to imperfect assessments, individual at best. Well, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot, lot to unpack there in current, present day. But anyways, altering the stone is one such assessment. Some will call it fabrication, but it is not our. It is it not our duty to ensure the will of the gods is on earth as it is above. This provides a greater narrative, a truth in keeping with wit, with what we have defended and upheld for millennia. We will gain much and so uphold the greater truth of the gods by transforming the lesser and perfect truth of mundane men. Okay, I see what you're doing. You're changing everything. Mm-hmm. Copy the original text and throw it in the well. Perhaps one day that truth will be every bit as needed as it, its destruction is today. When we have all been long returned to dust, but that time is not now. Be discreet and be skillful. Is that why she was called the skillful one? All right. So now we need to find the well. I like this. This is this is this is going splendidly. I didn't. Know, I thought I was gonna have to do a lot of other stuff. I'm no, I don't remember doing this before. The letter mentioned a well containing the original sure. text. There's only one place in Caduceus where water is used. Find the well. Well, it's over by the hibiscus, right? I mean, there's literally a pool of water right here, but you want me to go to this little well right here. Okay. There are fragments of ceramic in the well, ancient and worn. One of them is inscribed a manifesto of ships and cargo, similar to the headstone found in the excavation. So she changed the shipping history. But we are wise in the old law. You have to confront them. She changed the the history of the the uh huh. See this lady here. This lady. Let me tell you something. See, she stopped. Look, look. The work stopped. Excavation stopped. The workers are focused on the revelations of the head priestess. Uh huh. Uh A leader's burden. You may have seen through the lies of the high priestess and unveiled her plot to manipulate the evacuation or excavation in order to assert the independence. Her uh, island's independence. The worker who helped you uncover the deceit asked you to confront her, but you fear such a choice may have far ranging consequences for the future of the sacred island. Oh no. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't I don't want to ruin the future. There will still be many roads to pave before Kintuta can be united. Oh boy. <laughs> this seems like a big idea, big thing here. Okay. Um, well, let's make a decision, I guess. <clears throat> so you found my note to Layla. I did not expect you to be so astute. Oh, you didn't, huh? You took me for a fool. But I cannot deny there is some relief in not having to hide it anymore. I suppose you want to know why I did such a thing. The deceit is for your own selfish profit. I believe you wish to protect your faith, whatever the cost. Well. 
Um, what do I think? How about both? <laughs> um, I'm I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna say I believe. I think this is what they were trying to do. I don't think that I don't. I don't know. I mean, that letter was talking about protecting the faith. Even if, yeah, I, I'm gonna go with this one. Our faith and our duty are intertwined. To document history beyond the reach of mortal men, whether kings, tyrants, or passing it, that word. Katima's dream of an empire does not accommodate this truth. So if to see is the only way to remain beyond its gra his grasp, to remain true, blah, blah, blah. There are no, so she's gonna do anything possible. However noble your intent, what you did is fabricated. It is. It is a lie. You're a liar, Lay lying Layla. Not Lay Layla the skillful, Leia the liar. Liar. So we're going with lie. This. Though we may not have no proof of the veracity of our creed's tenets, you have no better evidence of them being untrue. I may have falsified evidence, but that in no way invalidates our fundamental truth but perhaps such understanding is beyond one of such foreign ideas oh so now you're saying i don't even know because i don't i'm mm -hmm. let us not idle further condemn or condone us i have no power i can only trust you to do it okay here we go i have to i gotta tell katima right i've i've been yeah yeah, because I can't yell at her for lying and then me not me go do the same thing. So my lord Katima must hear of this. So you would condemn us to fade and die. How disappointingly predictable. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't want you to die. No, no. That's that's not at all <laughs> what I want. I want you to hang out and do your thing, and but I want you to be friends with everybody. Oh boy. Now I hope he doesn't come China and destroy their China. island. Invites you to take some Astraka? Astrasa? I, I don't know what that means. Take the proof of the manipulation to Katima. Must face the consequences of her dishonesty. Look at her now. She, look at this face. Now she's looking all nice and innocent. Before she was all mean looking. And her, she's like, hey, look, I'm just, I'm, I'm innocent. Okay, um, I, let's do it. Wait, where'd it go? Cargo stations. Do I have to push this? Now for the oh, okay, final okay, good. Look. Um, yes. Hi. Proof of the high priest's deceitful tamperings. Okay, here we go. Back over to Katima. On our way. I hope I'm doing the right thing here. I hope he doesn't come and just like destroy their island forever and like ban them, banish them over here and never supply them things and they all just like starve. I don't want that. Where am I delivering this to, by the way? Is it this one? Bring her Water never truly yeah, it's slumbers. this one. I take it things did not go as expected. Um, no, no, not not as expected. I had expected better than common forgery from priests. Evidently, it is time they were brought back into the fold and learned humility. Yes, yes, brought back into the fold. Yes, yes, that means friends, right? For shortage. So speak the scales of Mik Mikolai? You decided to report the deceit. Um, okay, Mikolai. Is that like the all right Mike <laughs> of of Mbesa, Mikolai? Um Okay, let's uh let's do this. I confess I had not expected the high priestess to stoop so low. However much however much we may disagree, she's always had my begrudging respect. But such deceit is intolerable. What did she say? She had no valid reason. No, she did have a valid reason. She would rather commit perjury than see Kadosi's library destroyed. 
Yeah, she had a valid reason. Right? Yeah, this is valid. Yeah, yeah. Because he says he... She has his respect. Yeah, okay. The library. What is it but walls hollowed by time and a dust of desiccated script spirits and bodies? Why would they cling to such We're an extent? Okay. Um, so he's asking me why he doesn't care about it. Why do they care about it? Um, I'm going to... This. This is it. Because they don't fear... They, they just love their tradition and history. Yeah, it's this. Caduceus is a place that will have wonders and enchantment, however dust webbed. There are secrets hidden in its spiraled stairs. I lost my place. <laughs> there are secrets hidden... Okay, spiraled stairs that are worth a thousand angels' words. But even so, in this... Like said, blah, 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 my gosh. Is this what they will teach to those who come to them for advice? Trust me. Tell me, trusted advisor, what would you have me do? This one. For sure. They have challenged your authority. I don't... No, no, no. I don't want him to... Get all mad. I want them to... All, unity. Unity. All three islands. Unity. That's the whole point of what we're doing here. Unity. Here we go. So they have moved even you to mercy. I see the wisdom in your words. Yes. It takes greater courage to forgive someone's mistakes than to punish them for... Punish them for... Punish them for the mistakes. <laughs> If this is what the priest taught you, then there may yet be wisdom to be found. Oh, wait, is he is he agreeing with me here? Let this mercy be the start of a new Mbesa. I wish to... See? My man is a good man. He's. I'm telling you, he's got a bad rap. I will not cast them out nor break off trade if they make penance and join with Mbesa. All right, so now I have to make them make penance. Is that the deal? Deliver this decree to Kidusi Anitoni and let this tale come to a close. Ooh. Hang on. Okay, um, yes, let's do it. I would punish the priests for their lies, but people look to them for guidance. Very well, let them be united. Ooh, I think with I the did empire. it. I pray for their sake, this misguidedness does not renew itself. Okay, I, th I think I did it. A decree proclaiming Caduceus and Tony's union with the Empire, providing that they acknowledge Empire space. So what happened to all, like, the language the stuff? I think, I thought there was, like, a whole part of the story where I had to, like, translate things, and it was just madness. And, may, like, there were symbols, and if you got it wrong, you, like, it wasn't perfect, then she would get mad at you, and then you would lose, and it, like, I think I... I think we're I think we did it. <laughs> I think we did it. Let's see what she says. I think we did it without doing all that stuff. An imperial decree. I had expected the emperor would wish to hear no more of us. Oh no no, I'm I, I did I got you. I got you. We we did a good job, I think. I Kedusi cannot survive without trade. It would be a death sentence. We have no choice. We must bow Ooh, to I, the Emperor in submission. Okay, so... Did I do it? I wonder if they had been right, whether it would have changed anything. It matters not. Our unity, our future, is now close at hand. You have done well. Brushing away the cobwebs on Kidusi. I have made arrangements. Even a new monastery. Ooh, is it like the one on Bluey? <laughs> the random one? Join the rest of us on the one faith. All right, here we go. We did it. At last, our magnum opus is complete. I have had several copies made. Masterful craftsmanship. <laughs> and then this guy just jumps myself. in. He's like, oh, here I am. There it is. Yes. The final, exhaustive, comprehensive copy of the Chronicles of the Land of Lions. I did it. I, I swear yeah. I did not think I was going to do it. <laughs> yes, we shall. Let's do it. Wait. I think. <laughs> or should I? This can't be this easy, can it? These chronicles herald a new golden age, the age of lions, the triumph of Mbesa, and we, the 
architects of its splendor. Okay. Out the crowd. Oh, here we go. Your own poets may soon sing the splendors of Enbesa. Yes, yes, they will. There goes. The, I bet you that's the Caduce one. Yep. That was the Caduce clipper. We did it. Sweet. Cargo boat at the ready. Oh wait! Oh, oh no! That was more. But what of beyond the sands? What pale walls and statues still? Now he's gonna speak all quiet. We can't hear him. What king caught in the glory of his prime? Okay. <laughs> um. So this is the reward, which is just an item, I guess. Should we click and read it? Maybe we should go up to the library. Here, let's go up to the library and read it. Let's get up here. Here we go. We're at the library. Let's read it. The ingenious device is Click to read. I'm trying to click it and read it. It won't let me read it. <laughs> My mouse can't get over there fast enough. Click to read. I'm trying to click. It doesn't click. All right. Well, um. Well. Oh, I guess you got to put it in the trading post to read it. Let's go put it in the trading post real quick. Let's see what it looks like. The Epic Alliance. So. I guess we're. Yeah, so we did it. Um, I think the reward is elder points or something. Research points. Yeah, there it is. Residents provide bonus research points from script. Okay. So it's just the elders. I wonder if. Since, hang on, just to quickly check, because there are other residents that use scripts. I'm a lightning rod in a storm of ideas. Right? Isn't it Obreros or something? <laughs> Do they give me points too? Yeah, they have scripts. Do they give me points? I didn't think so, but you know, you never know with this game. All right, so there we go. I got extra report research points. How many do we have now? still have 78 how is that possible the elders are giving me 55 <laughs> the scholars are giving me 4203 well whatever all right so let's put this in the trading post and let's go read it see what it's like what first of all what is this Resolutely turning to the future in a new brighter age, Katima worries the memories of the epics of kings of old will fade and be forgotten. He wishes. For okay, so this is the same thing that showed up last time when I did uh, Wahadesher. Oh, and I see the little white flags by both their islands. So the only one left. Yeah, so we did it. And Gareb's the only one left. Sweet. I was dreading, dreading <laughs> the language, the linguistics, and all that stuff that you had to do. There's my land. There's my... Let's click it. I, I want to... How do you read this? Click to read. Okay. Maybe you have to put it in a museum and then read it from there. Maybe? I'm going to read this. It's going to happen. One of these episodes, I will read the Chronicles of Mbesa. It will be... A lovely sit-down firehouse chat with All Right Mike. What do you think? No? 